Well, yeah. What do you think? That's their home state. Arizona was ranked the oh, worst. Huh. Gawker. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Yeah. It takes a minute to figure out not okay, worse. we're not that right. bad. Yeah. No. We're 38th like, wait a worst 38. is 12th best. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. All right, maybe let, 11th. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Maybe we'll move out next year. All right, let's show you this. It's getting interesting in the metro area. You'll notice at the end of this three-hour loop, the clouds get pretty dark across the west and to the south. We've got some pretty good storms as well. So we may not be done with getting our chance at a shower here this afternoon, but it's still been a very hot afternoon across central New Mexico and across the south as well. Here's a look at what's going on with the storms and into the metro area. We've got storms lined up on the mountains right now and then down over Valencia County too. These are marching to the north here, so hopefully we'll get some rain out of these as they continue to slide to the north at about 10 miles an hour. So what we're looking at here is in the next hour or so, we'll have a chance to start dragging a few showers in across the area. I don't think they're necessarily going to last all that long, but when you have storms around like this, a lot of times we get those gust fronts that collide from different storms and they form new storms. So I think that's what we're likely to see here at least for a little while and the chance of getting a little bit wet. Meanwhile, across the northern mountains around Dulce picking up some showers up toward Pagosa Springs. Pretty quiet in the Durango area right now, although they had showers earlier on. From Mesita back toward Gallup, we've got scattered storms and across the south and west from essentially Socorro down through TRC along the I-25 corridor getting a bit wet and down into Grant County. Another day with some decent storms over the Gila and that will continue over the next few hours before things start to die down on that front. Still hot in the metro, 95 degrees. West-southwest winds, 14 miles an hour across the north. Temperatures anywhere from the 60s. In Grants, where we've had rain all the way up into the high 90s and Tucum carried down across the south. Very warm as well. Today, high pressure is slightly shifted over into Texas. That's giving us a little better storm coverage than what we had yesterday. Tomorrow, a similar setup here with the chance at storms. Central western sections up into the northern mountains here and really through Friday we'll see that chance of showers as well and then it really gets interesting over the weekend we drag a strong cold front in here and that is going to help bring cooler temperatures yes and an increasing chance of thunderstorms too so it does look like a pretty interesting weekend especially over the holiday of around Monday we're going to have that shot at some showers as well so for tomorrow northeast to southwest some more storms scattered showers will be possible out especially to our west but even here in the metro an isolated shower are possible. A weak front touches off a few more storms across the northeast on Friday, but then that much stronger front comes in for the weekend when things look a bit more promising and may even feel in some areas, especially in the northeast, a little bit like fall. 80s and 90s in the four corners, scattered storms for tomorrow, especially over mountain sections and that spot shower kind of in and out all the way through the holiday weekend. Down to the south and west, temperatures here partly cloudy, scattered storms, temperatures in the 80s and 90s, and that chance of grabbing a shower continues really for the foreseeable future here, and it's been a pretty good setup across the southwest over the past couple months for storms. Partly sunny afternoon with a spot storm possible across the southeast. But look at the temperature starting to cool. Wouldn't 87 be nice in Roswell by Monday? We'll see if we can end up pulling that off. North and east temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Isolated storms for tomorrow. Better chances at rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with temperatures dropping off significantly by Sunday in a high of 74. Northern mountains, 80s and 90s. Scattered storms tomorrow, and that chance continues through Friday and probably into the back half of the weekend as well with those highs going down into the high 70s. 89 Estancia, 90 to Harris, 91 at Sandia Park, scattered storms, and finally right here in the metro. Temperatures in the low 90s, partly cloudy, an isolated shower, not unlike today where we've still got our chance to get a little bit wet later on this evening, and then we'll get a little better shot at grabbing showers over the weekend with temperatures down into the mid-80s for highs. Some change, huh? That'd be nice. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.